Hello, my name is Carl Holmgren, and this video and the accompanying plans are for the retracting caster systems that I use under seven of my power tools. A miter saw stand, a flip top tool stand with an oscillating spindle sander on top, and under the reversible top, a mortising tool. My belt disc sander. And my beloved old Shopsmith. Shopsmith Model 10 ER. Here I have a second flip top stand with a uh, jigsaw on top and an old stick welder in the bottom on, under the reversible top. All of the caster systems operate the same way. You depress a pedal to extend the casters, depress a latch and unlatch and release to retract the casters. I've already published plans for the complete miter saw stand, including the retracting casters, and the complete flip top stand, including its retracting casters. So this video is going to describe the retracting caster systems that I use in my belt disc sander and this Shopsmith tool stand. Here are some excerpts from the 18-minute uh, video describing the construction of the belt disc sander caster system and the Shopsmith stand and caster system. I cut the miters on the skirt pieces with the miter saw tilted to 45 degrees. The skirt pieces are just uh, five and a half inch wide pieces of three quarter inch plywood mitered at the ends, slots for biscuits, except for the front one. And I made up by, I had to provide for a slot for the extended retract lever, so I just used two 5 sixteenths hardwood strips above and below and two pieces for the skirt filler between the hardwood, uh, hardwood layers. Lay out the location of the casters on the underside of the caster mounting boards. They can be flush with the outside edges if the nuts are on the inside end of the casters. Leave room for the extend retract lever for this one rear caster. The casters need to be three-eighths of an inch from the edge, the front and rear edges. So I'll mark all the holes and then take the boards over to my drill press and drill pilot holes for the wood screws. When the casters are positioned, we can position the hinges as, as far out as, as possible and mark the holes, the screw holes for them. And of course I oriented the grain on the top end correctly uh, and found that this was a, a little bit springy when the tool was in the upright position. So I had to add a hardwood cross piece in here to stiffen the top and that proved to be okay. The bottom is just slightly smaller than the box. It leaves, it leaves a slightly exposed ledge here. Uh, otherwise it's screwed to the sides and the back all around. The reason for the ledge is to give a resting spot for the skirt. So here's the setup for the retracting casters. Two pieces of plywood. The front one's slightly shorter because of this arm that's attached with screws to the rear board. Swivel casters at the back. Fixed casters at the front uh, for a little extra stability. Uh, 
Okay. Caster's extended. Caster's retracted. So if you're interested in plans, I've got a set of drawings that describe the base and retracting caster system for the belt disc sander, the floor and the skirts, the caster mounting blocks and caster systems, caster placement and latch and tall, and of course a set of drawings for the shopsmith, the main case, the floor, skirt, and caster mounting blocks, the drawer, the drawer, and the outboard stand when the unit is folded down. In, a, in addition to the drawings, I've got two pages of instructions on the caster system for the belt disc sander with color pictures. And these two pages are sort of intended to summarize what's in the 18 minute video. So you can print these and take them out to the shop and use them as a reference while building the caster systems. And then I have a similar set of instructions with colored illustrations for the shopsmith stand. In addition, I have a complete cut list of materials and dimensions for the shopsmith and for the belt disc sander stands. So if you're interested in plans, uh, please click on the link below, go to my website, and uh, you can order plans uh, through a PayPal system. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for forwarding to other folks you think might be interested. And thanks for subscribing. Thank you.